WICR began broadcasting in 1962. 55 years in the making, we are a student-run radio station overseen by a full-time faculty and staff at the University of Indianapolis and a student management team. WICR features classical music and a jazz program, as well as urban music formats across all three HD stations. We spoke to a few WICR staff members today to get an inside look. It really helped me figure out what I wanted to do with my life and kind of made me more confident in who I am as a person as well because people at WICR have always really been here for me when other places maybe not so much. And it's been really good because honestly if it wasn't for WICR I don't know what I'd be doing with my life right now. Like thankfully this class helped me to like find my passion and realize that I really like telling stories and I really like telling stories through the form of broadcast and while now I'm kind of debating between radio and TV it was really here that like helped start me on that path and I also got a lot of opportunities at the same time which was really really nice because without those opportunities like I said I don't really know where I'd be right now. This particular radio program enables students to receive training and a hands-on experience of what it's like to be a young professional in the broadcasting business. These young professionals get a head start their freshman year. All students contribute in different departments of their choice, such as sports coverage, news reporting, engineering, social media, programming, and studio production. The faculty at the station aren't just lecturers or desk workers, they're just as involved. Good afternoon and welcome to Smooth Jazz with Doug Hausmeyer on 88.7 WICR. How's your day going? Are you in the holiday spirit yet? WICR also has live weekday evening and morning shows with co-hosts as early as 7 to 9 a.m. on UND Radio. Those who are willing to wake up and bring excitement have the opportunity to start from scratch and create their own. As of yesterday, I've now been in broadcasting for 33 years. I went on the air 33 years ago, yesterday. And we all remember our first ever air shift. As bad as it went, we all remember our first ever air shift. At the University of Indianapolis, WICR endures countless learning opportunities and skills development for all students and staff striving to invest in their future careers. And so it's, it's kind of nice because there's more of um, you get to know people a little bit better here. You know, it's not just wandering out going, hey, I see you once every semester in my in our department. So. It means a lot to me. I mean, if it wasn't for this place, I mean, I said I don't know what I'd be doing right now. So it really helped me figure out what I wanted to do with my life and kind of made me more confident in who I am as a person as well because people at WICR have always really been here for me when other places maybe not so much. So it's meant a lot. What is the environment? 
Uh, the environment's really caring, like, and we enjoy having fun. Like, the one thing I've learned about radio while being here at WICR and at my part-time job is radio is so much fun. Like, we just get to talk for a living. We get to have fun and create things and do things that nobody else really has the opportunity to do and can't really do. So it's, it's just the best environment. I love it. We have a good time. And even when we have problems, we're good at sorting them out and making sure we get through it because we can communicate, which helps a lot. So it's definitely the best work environment I've ever been in. It's a more welcoming and warmer environment than I'm used to in some spots. Uh, but Central Indiana, Indianapolis, and at the University of Indianapolis, uh, it's just been a confluence of a lot of support, some visionaries that came before me, and I've always felt it was kind of my obligation to reward them or to, out of respect to them, continue to grow the program but never stray from what we set out to do at the beginning, which was to help prepare the next generation of broadcast professionals. As the industry changes, we don't have to like it, but we can't stray from the mission. We've got to embrace it. We've got to teach in different ways. We've got to teach different material. We've got to make sure that WICR is just as relevant today as it was in 1962.